Oh my. Hello everybody, back again. Uh, just me here today. We've been off for I think a little over a month. Uh, we were going to come back last week and review Tammy, but uh, well, I got in a car accident and uh, we couldn't go see that. But we are returning this week and uh, well, I guess I'm returning this week and we went and saw uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Oh my God! This is the this is the best movie of the year. Uh, before this, I thought that Captain America: uh, The Winter Soldier was probably the best movie of the year. But after seeing this, this might be the third best movie of the past three years. I mean, of course you got you got Wolf of Wall Street, which I loved, and and Dark Knight Rises, which is fantastic. But after the, after those two, I'd have to say this is this is the one. Uh, you know, better than Gravity, better than American Hustle, better than, uh, you know, 12 Years a Slave, better than Avengers. Yeah, don't kill me, Internet. Better than the Avengers, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> the movie stars Jason Clarke, uh, um, Andy Serkis, Carrie Russell. Um, it's even got Gary Oldman in there. And uh, just every single performance in here was just uh, perfect. Just so many layers to every character, even uh, Gary Oldman, who I thought just from the trailers was just going to be just some bad guy, hates the apes all along. Even he is kind of a reluctant villain uh, in this movie, and he's he's fantastic. Jason Clark is good. He's not um, a character with a ton of depth. He's more of almost like a vessel to tell the story through, but even he, as the movie progresses, starts his character starts encompassing more things and it. it's it's great. The plot of this movie, uh, it's been about, I would say, about eight years since the since the last one and uh, the apes are kind of still off in the, in the woods living on their own, but uh, the vaccine that James Franco's character thought uh, maybe could help cure Alzheimer's and things like that, it actually uh, has had a deadly effect on humans, which we saw in the first one, and it's spread and it's wiped out a lot of the population of the earth and so the humans are kind of down and out and, but the apes are just you know living in their own little world but the humans in San Francisco need um, power and they gotta go to this dam but the, the apes lie in between and uh, craziness ensues I don't want to spoil any more than that but just everything about this movie was great the direction from Matt Reeves was fantastic the, the CGI Transformers 4 people Take some notes uh, so next time you don't have the little blocky loading screen thing for the Transformers. Look at the, these people's work because they look like real apes. I mean, there's this one scene where you see a bunch of apes on a bus, and I thought we were looking at an ape full, a bus full of apes. I didn't think that we were looking at a bunch of people in pajama suits with green balls on them making faces into a camera. That's how good this was. And even. The apes have just as many emotions as the characters do, and just as much depth as the characters do. Unlike in the first one, in my opinion, you could only tell a few of the different apes apart. In this one, every single ape you can almost tell is different, every single main ape at least. You can, you can tell who's different, and it's like looking at another person. And it's just a fantastic movie all the way around. Um, Andy Serkis, fantastic as Caesar again, and even better... Um, he's got more of a speaking part now, and in the last one, you know, it, it was kind of a reveal that he could speak. In this one, lots of the apes can speak, and, you know, Caesar speaks a lot more, and all the other apes speak a lot more, and Andy Serkis shines in this movie. Um, people have been talking Oscar for him. I would doubt that, just because I don't think people can take the motion cap capture seriously just yet, but... He was fantastic in this role, and he definitely deserves one. Uh, just everything about this movie was just fantastic. It just from start to finish, just a great movie. And uh, even the plot, I thought the plot, they took some detours that were good detours. You know, it wasn't by the numbers in, in any sort of way. Um, the action scenes were great. There are great ape 
ape on ape action scenes, human on ape action scenes. Uh, just everything about this movie was great, and it it's one of the best written movies of the year, if not the best written movie of the year. Now that I'm done gushing over it, I guess I'll just get to the ratings so I don't spoil anything for you guys, but just before this, just let me say, take your friends out, go see this movie, go see it multiple times, because this is why summer blockbusters work for studios when they make movies like this. Put money into this movie, don't go see Transformers, it's a terrible movie, and don't go see other movies like that. See this one, see it multiple times, get all your friends, go see this one. Because I'm going to give this one a big old 10 out of 10. Yes, 10 out of 10. You knew it was coming. I have zero problems with this movie. This this is the best movie of the year. One of the best movies that I have seen uh, in mo many years. Just a fantastic movie. Well guys, good to be back. Good to uh, see all you again. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing more, uh, hopefully with Drew and Nick, and maybe somebody else like Sam, even though he kind of messed up and we don't like him anymore for that. But um, anyway, uh, good to be back. Uh, see you guys later, and everybody, have a good one.